What is a spirit? And how many types of alcohol are considered spirit? Globally accepted, there are just six base liquors. Brandy, Gin, Rum, Tequila, Vodka and Whiskey. These base liquors are distilled using similar methods. But each one of them has unique flavor. And there are various subtypes and styles within each base liquor. Check out our videos on these immaculate, timeless spirits. Claret is the liquor for boys, oat for men. But he who aspires to be a hero must drink brandy. This has been rightly said by someone wise. Produced by distilling wine, brandy is typically consumed as an after-dinner digestive. As fruit is the major ingredient in it, most commonly grapes, beside apple, peach and other fruits. Brandy has a fruity and subtly sweet taste. It can also have a tinge of flavor of oak, since it is aged in wooden casks. Brandy began to be distilled in France and thus became the national alcoholic drink of the country. The name brandy originated from Dutch word brandewin or burnt wine as it evokes the warm glowing feeling from the very first sip you take. There are many types of brandy of which two major ones are cognac and amunac wine. Brandy refers to distilled spirit made from fermented fruit juice. But brandy is a broad term. On the other hand, cognac must be made from white grapes, mainly from cognac region of France. The more brandy is aged, the more mellow and complex it becomes. To fully taste its complex flavor, it is best to have brandy neat at room temperature in a snifter in order to prevent other tastes or flavors from interfering with that of brandy. The best brandies should be savored on their own, though some people like them in cocktails. Having it neat will help you to enjoy the flavor fully, making you enjoy the brandy experience completely. To bring out and enhance the best aromas of brandy, some people prefer heating their glass a bit before pouring in the brandy. Before you take your first sip, smell the brandy while holding the glass at the chest height. Nosing the brandy at this distance will allow you to smell the floral notes and introduce the delicate aromas to your nose. This prevents your senses from being overwhelmed when tasting. Whether you have it neat or mixed in your cocktail, sip slowly. Brandy should be enjoyed slowly Give time to the taste buds to assimilate the flavor and to enjoy its complexities. Let the evening begin, a drink that England parties upon. There is an alcohol which was made for medicinal purpose but gradually became a big part of liquor industry. Yes, gin. Though gin is national alcoholic drink of England, but Spain is the biggest gin drinking country in the world. Gin was made by distilling the juniper berry with spirits to produce an inexpensive medicine having diuretic properties of juniper berry oil. The medicine was first used by a 17th century professor of medicine, Franciscusa Salvius. The English first got their hands on the spirit while fighting Spain in Holland during the Thirty Years' War, where they drank it to calm their nerves before going into battle. In fact, the juniper berries and gin contain flavonoids, which can clean clogged arteries. A 30 ml of gin every day can decrease the risk of heart attacks and cardiovascular disease. All said, but moderation is always the best policy. The quinine present in the tonic water helps treat malaria. Such was the impact of gin and tonic that Sir Winston Churchill once said, the gin and tonic has saved more Englishmen's lives and mind than all the doctors in the empire. Talking about Sir Winston Churchill, do you know London dry gin does not mean that the gin is made in London. It simply means that the gin is infused with botanical flavor through redistillation. 
No artificial ingredients are permitted and no color or flavor can be added. After distillation, the balloon-shaped copa glass for gin were designed and introduced to the world by Spain. The shape was designed to trap the aromas of gin. Plus, their large size gave plenty of space to put whatever you want in your gin and tonic. Rum An alcohol which was as good as currency. National drink not only of Cuba but of wide range of other countries in Central America. Barbados, Bermuda, Dominican Republic, French West Indies, Hiati, Guatemala, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago. The list is long and so is its history. The first ever rum was distilled in 1620s in the Caribbean. The Caribbean still holds its position as the largest rum distillery till date. Even though the main ingredient of rum, sugarcane, is not a native to Caribbean. In fact, sugarcane is originally from India and Greater India, where for centuries it was used as a sweetener in food and for animal feed. It was only introduced to the Caribbeans by the infamous Christopher Columbus when he landed on Hispaniola, an island now shared by Dominican Republic and Hiati. Those were the years when rum used to be really, really valuable. It was so valuable in 18th century that it used to work as a type of currency. In fact, sailors would receive rum as a form of payment. And Jack Sparrow was so fond of rum, so were the Pirates of Caribbean. If you think you had a lot of nicknames growing up, take a look at this impressive list of nicknames that rum has accumulated over the years. Some of them are Kill Devil, Demon Water, Navy Drum, Nelson's Blood, Barbados Water, Grog, Pirate's Drink, Rumbullion. And each one of them has a reason behind being rum's nickname, like Kill Devil, referred to the harshness of old rum. It was so strong that people believed it would literally kill the devil inside them. Well, the devil awakens in me. Well, for you, you need to have a glass of rum to see what you become. Subscribe us and keep watching this space for more funtainment videos. Tequila. Here we go now. A plant-based drink made from blue agave plant. Most tequilas come from Jalisco region of Mexico. More specifically from the areas around tequila. In fact, Mexico law mandates that most tequilas with certain exceptions be manufactured in Jalisco only. Tequila is made from fermentation of sugar of a blue agave plant. During the 1918 Spanish flu epidemic, patients were instructed to drink tequila with lime and salt to ease their symptoms. Today, tequila is not considered a medicine anymore, but people fond of drinking might still take it, hoping it soothes their throat, eases congestion, or aids with sleep. If you're not a Mexican, then you might have tried your first tequila at a party. In Mexico, tequila is a very sophisticated affair. The most traditional way of drinking tequila is neat, without lime or salt. Outside Mexico, a single shot of tequila is often served with salt and a slice of lime or lemon. This is called tequila cruda or at times is referred as the training wheel or lick sip suck. You may prefer your tequila neat or a shot with salt and lime or in margarita. Tequila can be enjoyed in many ways and at almost all the places be it beach or a club. You can even dance the night out with tequila. Vodka says, trust me and you can dance. Originating from the word vodka, which means water in Russian. Vodka is the national alcoholic drink of Russia. In fact, there are few traditions that Russians associate with vodka. One such tradition is that there is no break between the first and second class of vodka. Which means you cannot eat anything until you finish your second class. This surely means a hot dance floor. Vodka's natural taste makes it the most versatile spirit available today. It is composed mainly of water and ethanol with some traces of impurities and flavoring. 
Traditionally, vodka is made by distilling liquid from fermented grains like rye, rice, corn and wheat. In recent times, potatoes have been used and some modern brands use fruits, honey and maple syrup as the base. Many companies put in flavors like lemon, chili, ginger and so on. Well, even if you don't like the taste of vodka, you can still avail many of so-called publicized and not proven health perks it offers. It is said to be antitoxin, a disinfectant, an antiseptic, all in one. Parents used to soak cotton balls in vodka and dab them on children to bring down the fever or ease an earache. Vodka with pepper is prescribed for an adult cold. You can even use it as aftershave if you run out of one. Thank us later for giving you one more reason to bring that vodka bottle home. Whiskey Confused on how to spell whiskey correctly? Is it whiskey with EY or is it whiskey with Y? Well, both are correct. If you're referring to Scotch, Scottish or Canadian whiskey, spell it without EY, that is whiskey. If its origins are rooted elsewhere, like Japan, India, America or anywhere in the world, then go for EY, that's whiskey. Well, whatever way you spell it, the meaning of it doesn't change. Whiskey comes from a Gaelic word, which when translated into English, means water of life. No wonder that 30 ml daily is considered healthy for our heart. Alcohol terminology can get really confusing. Like what is the difference between spirit, liquor and liqueur? Or is wine or beer same as spirit? Let us tell you. Spirits and liquor are one and the same thing. They are a hard or maybe the hardest alcohol product made by distillation. Often around 40% ABV that is alcohol by volume. These drinks are possibly flavored but always unsweetened. So spirit or liquor, whatever you may call it, it refers to alcoholic spirits as a whole. Including distilled beverages made from grains, fruits, vegetables or sugar. Liquor is different from other types of alcohol like beer or wine. Why? Because of its significantly higher alcohol by volume percentage. Beer and wine are much lower in alcohol because they have not been distilled. Whereas, liquor has undergone a process of distillation. Now, let's understand the difference between liquor and liqueur. Liqueurs are a type of liquor. But the difference is that most liqueur are made from a base spirit. Flavors and spices are added for desired results. The final output beverage is usually with more sugar and flavor, but with a weaker alcohol content. Liqueurs are typically used as a flavor enhancer in mixed cocktails. That is why today we have a huge variety of liqueurs available. Whoever drinks beer is quick to sleep. Whoever sleeps long does not sin. Whoever does not sin enters heaven. Thus, let's drink beer. These golden words in praise of beer were said by famous German priest Martin Luther. No wonder, beer is the national alcoholic drink not only of Germany but Belgium too. So much is the craze for beer in Germany that every year a 16 to 18 days beer fest known as Oktoberfest is held in Germany where over 6 million international and national visitors come to celebrate it. Not only this, even the largest museum dedicated to beer making is in Altenburg, Germany. And the oldest brewery in the world is the Weihenstephaner Brewery in Freising, Germany. But when it comes to being the largest producer of beer in the world, that position is being taken by Belgian corporation and Heiser Boschenbauf. This company owns about 400 beer brands in 50 countries, including the most famous beer of the world, Budweiser. It also owns Corona, Hogarden among others. Being one of the oldest and widely consumed alcoholic drink in the world, beer is the third most popular beverage after water and tea. Well, the meaning of word beer itself in Latin means to drink. Maybe that's the reason people drink it so much all over the world. According to a study, humans consume over 50 billion gallons of beer every year. The consumption increases dramatically during the beer fests. 
held in different countries like Germany, Philippines, Japan, Hong Kong and so on. Interestingly, Amsterdam gives beer as an incentive to alcoholics. The alcoholic locals of Amsterdam earn beer by cleaning the streets so that even an alcoholic person can be productive. An Egyptian proverb goes, the mouth of a perfectly happy man is filled with beer. Something similar happened during the building of pyramids in ancient Egypt. Apparently, an American astrologist has determined that the builders of the pyramids drank around 4 liters of beer every day. It was evidently healthier than drinking the dirty water from River Nile. Some historians also suggest that the builders were given ration of 4 to 5 liters of beer a day for nutritional purpose. Well, to find out its nutritional value, which I'm sure are none, you need to drink beer because milk is for babies. Beer is made by men, wine by gods, said Martin Luther. Wines are typically made from fermented grapes and wine takes years to perfect. There is a history and science inside every bottle. Wine is made with grapes, but not the grapes bought from supermarket. More than 10,000 varieties of wine grapes exist worldwide. And these wines have been produced since thousands of years. The earliest known traces of wine are from Georgia, Iran, Sicily. Today, the top three most significant producers of wine in the world are France, Spain and Italy. The US ranks fourth, followed by China in fifth place. While China is only the fifth largest wine producing country globally, it is the leading market for red wine, not only because of its flavor, but also as the red color of wine is considered lucky in Chinese culture. Throughout history, wine has been consumed for its intoxicating effects, but red wines has been attributed to positive health benefits as it has no fat or cholesterol. Attributions to be checked, but it is said that for men and women who drink moderately, it lowers your chance of having a stroke and also reduces the risk of cancer and promotes longevity. But remember, moderation is the key. A guilt-free treat. Red wine is usually served with red meat, while white wine is served with chicken or fish. But all the wines can be enjoyed with cheese, olives and subtle tastes. When it comes to pairing wine with desserts, go for sweet wine. As a wine drinker, it is equally important how you hold your wine glass. The stem of a wine glass is for a reason. Wine glasses should be held by the stem so that the hand doesn't raise the temperature of the wine, thereby changing the flavor of the wine. Don't fill a wine glass more than a third so as to leave space for aromas of wine to get collected. As you hold and swill your wine, raise a toast. Cheers! Angels Share There are certain terms associated with alcohol like smooth, robust, angels share. Well, the phrase angels share sounds quite interesting. But what exactly is the meaning when we say 2% is the angels share? It means the amount of alcoholic drink lost due to evaporation while aging the alcohol in oak barrels. The alcohol evaporates through the wood and goes into the atmosphere. It is estimated that about 2-5% to of total volume of alcoholic drink per year is lost in this process. Many alcoholic distilleries consider this a small sacrifice for the angels above. Subscribe us now and keep watching this space for Devil's Share.